So for this piece I've started off with one of the silicone beading mats. This is the large version but obviously you can do the same thing with a smaller mat and I just lined it with some plastic to retain, retain the glossy finish on the, the back of the piece otherwise you'll end up with a matte finish if you just use the mat, uh, the silicone mat as is. So I've just mixed some um, sand in with some resin and as you can see I've just poured that to the bottom edge of the project. And I'm just going to zap that with a bit of heat just to get rid of some of the air bubbles. Next I've just mixed in some a few drops of India ink in with the resin. As always I'll leave a, a list of the products used in the description below the video. So I've, because I wanted a quite a dense blue I've actually used um, probably four or five drops in there but if you want a lighter blue then use less ink. For this part I'm using the acrylic diamonds and I've just mixed this in with a little bit of resin that's been tinted with some white pigment paste. For this I'm using the Res Angel White and I've just literally just mixed a very small amount in and spoon it on so that you get a raised edge. And it's also going to act as a bit of a barrier for when I pour more of the tinted resin on there. So once you're happy with the amount of acrylic diamonds that are applied to the surf area at the top, we're now going to add a little bit more tinted resin. For this one I'm adding a lighter colour and it's a teal which has only got one or two drops so just to make it more translucent so you can see through this more when you, you have it on the light. Here I'm just adding some clear resin. Now this is because I'm going to add some white and blow it around so we don't want the blue underneath to blow around just too much so this just acts as a small barrier when blowing this around with the heat gun. So as you can see the blue is not moving too much you've got the white flowing over the sand a lot easier because we've added some clear resin to act as a barrier. And we don't want to go mad with the heat because you don't want to burn the plastic either so um, less is more if you so to speak. So this has been curing for maybe about an hour and some of the resin has um, crept above the line of the stone so all I'm doing here is just spooning some more acrylic diamonds on top of that resin so that you don't have too much of a hard edge and I'm just using the spoon to just push that back into the resin a little bit so that you get um, a nice defined shape. And then we're going to leave this to cure for a few hours. Um, I'll go back and check on it every hour or so just to see how it's curing. And I'm generally waiting until it's still bendy but no longer moving so it's no longer sticky. So as you can see when I lift that out it's actually still bendy. And I'm now going to place this on so a roll of bubble wrap to shape it. Now I started off with just using the bubble wrap fully rolled um, as one piece but then I decided that I didn't like well it's not that I don't like the idea of it just being bent, bent in, in one curve I actually wanted it to have a double curve so I then rethought it out opened up the roller bubble wrap and rolled a smaller section so that you can see as you can see here I've got a small roll and a larger roll to balance this resin on now to make sure that the resin doesn't move too much and it retains the shape around there, I'm now just going to sticky tape the edge to the roll of bubble wrap. So then you've got a nice curve on those outer edges, it's not um, flaying out, which when you've done one of these you'll understand that the, the resin will flay out a little bit at the bottom. So by taping it to this, it actually retains its shape better. 
Here I'm just going to play around with how I want the curve to look. So now that it's actually stuck to the bubble wrap it makes it a little bit easier to just manoeuvre it and get the the curve that I'm looking for. And then using some heavy objects I'm just going to place them so that the rolls don't roll together and then place them on the outside just to make sure that the bubble wrap doesn't move and we end up with some kind of disaster when we come back later. Now where the um, the stones are at the top that wasn't bending really well so as you can see I've put a roll of this uh, a tube of the stone uh, they are actually stones in this tube of the stones on top of the, the acrylic diamonds just to make sure that that area is bent properly as well. So if you've got one of these silicone mats already I hope this new resin tutorial gives you some ideas for new ideas for your resin art the likes of using the sand in the bottom to give it a little bit of extra dimension. So if you like this video and would like to see more resin ideas then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of ideas to help keep you inspired. So until next time, bye for now.